Hi, I'm Jeff Summit, Technical Director for Hurico Golf. I'm here today to talk about installing golf clubs with brass shims. Now, brass shims um, take up space when you have a smaller tip diameter shaft into a larger hosel. You're not going to have to use it that often, but when you do, here's some special tips. When you get them, they're not going to fit very well. You're going to have to form them over the shaft tip. So you might have to bend them kind of in shape and then kind of test fit it in the head. Oftentimes they're not going to fit um, exactly. So you're going to have to form fit the brass shim around the uh, shaft tip. So you can do that by just getting it started and then tapping the, the butt end of the shaft and driving the, the shim up into the, the hosel. That'll help. Um, I found an easier technique. I like to use our ferrule block and just get it started and then push down and then that'll form the, or, or crimp it around the shaft. I have to use some pliers to get it out. But now that we've done that, form it over the shaft, you'll see it fits a lot better into the head. And now we're on to our next uh, step of the process. We'll mix our epoxy. One thing we want to do too is we we'll put our ferrule on, but we want to put our ferrule far enough on, but not too far. The shim is going to take up some space, so you'd have a, a gap if you try to set it exactly uh, the length that you need it. So we're going to put a little bit of epoxy on the shaft tip and then take our shim and kind of work it around. And then we're going to put more epoxy on the outside of the, the shim. And then we can take our head and this is kind of important. You want to line up your shaft now because a lot of times these are pretty forced fits and you may not be able to rotate it much afterwards. So once I've got it, then I just drive it on. And then I can wipe off my excess epoxy. Check my alignment real good. And then set it to dry. And it's easy as that. That's how to uh, assemble a golf club with a brass shim.